Hello friends, today we will be talking about how to create a logbook in Insys Suite. First of all, login with user ID and credentials. Mostly these privileges we will give to power users or admin users of any client. Once you log into a user, you will have all the module access. Here you have to go to operator logbook module. Once you click on operator logbook module, you will find all the logbooks which are generated earlier. To create a new logbook, you have an option called new logbook. Click on this. It will ask you to select select asset. You have to select asset from left hand side menu in asset browser. Once you click on based on asset, it will open up the logbooks which are already created in that particular asset. Once you select asset, click on new logbook. After clicking new logbook, a new page will open which is called as logbook builder. First thing you can give a name to the logbook once you give name you can go to settings in settings you can assign title subtitle description even asset and default logbook type which can also be checklist notes asset comments tank transfers etc then we have applicable shifts which we can select from a drop down whatever logbook uh, shifts has to be come in drill down. You can assign send logbook as email. You can enable this. You can enable include deviation report. Based on completion of logbook, you will get an email of complete log sheet and also 24 hours deviation report will be generated. You can assign background color for the logbook. You can give borders, even header and footer you can select from here. To create new header and footer, we have an option called header footer on the top menu. If you want to create a multiple pages logbook, you can enable this. Once you enable multiple pages, you have a new add new page option. Once you add new page, a new page will be added in the bottom. If you want to delete this page, you can delete it from the cross mark. You can select a color tile for the logbook tile which you have seen in summary page the color blue green you can define this color from this option then you can allow multiple engineers and multiple managers for double cross verification of the data these are all logbook settings once you finish this we have one more option here called page setting based on your page requirement you can select page size we have five page sizes available a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 you can also customize it and based on width and height you can select it for now i will select a3 page even you have margins even you can give margins and you can also assign page order or page id once this all settings are completed, now you can add content in the given table. To add more tables in the logbook, we have option called table settings. Click on table settings. You can add or add a row below or top as per your choice. Now I have added couple of rows. I can do done. If I want to add something in this particular row, I can go in table settings, I can click on text and I can add it here. It can also be acting as header. If I want to align this or even I want to bold it or I want to give it italic or I want to change color or format, I can do it. If I want this cell to be modified, I can give background of that particular cell, even borders I can select, even I can select align content. This is how you can design your logbook in logsheet headers. How to add an info view in logbook? We have left hand side menu where we have info view drill down, nodes, shift manpower widgets. These are the widgets which are used to create any logsheets. Once we click on info view, you see recently created info views. Whatever info view you want to add in that particular row, you have to select the row, then double click on the law, info view. Once you double click on info view, you will find that a pop-up came 
pop-up says are you sure you want to add this info you as a reference what this means if you add this info you in this particular log sheet and you want to change anything then you can change in info you and that will be auto copied to this log sheet info you also if you click on yes if you want no you can select on cancel this is how a info you is added i can add one more info you based on requirement then i have shift manpower widget i can click click on row i can click double click on shift manpower widget and that will be available here now we have notes widget if i double click notes will be added in notes we have multiple types of notes which we can configure i am adding three notes widget in my this particular log sheet to showcase different types of widgets we can configure with this once i add my content in my log sheet we have settings on individual widget for shift manpower widget we have settings where we can give mobile or widget order for mobile app we can hide headers or we can uh, on hide headers we can give color background even we can give margins top margin right margin left margin then we come to notes widget where we we can double click or else we have to click on notes settings once we click on notes settings a page will open where it says no notes list type we have a list type of default simple activity list thank transfers safety interlock i can select any of the list and i can create this widget as per my choice first i am selecting simple once i select simple it will show common options which is like show editor option copy notes from previous notes widget allow inline editing you can enable if it is required even i can change the header name from here coming to second widget i will try to create activity list if i click on activity list it will ask me what is the status type i can select on off if i want to add some columns i can add some columns which will be available in front end whenever a log sheet is created i can assign the name here coming to next i will show you how to create tank transfer widget we have to select tank tank transfer widget then we have different uh, drill down where information will be available once we create log sheet i'm adding few information we can assign name to all widgets once you assign this you have you have a option to save the logbook once we save we have more options enabled where we can delete the log sheet we can duplicate we can save new version we can duplicate the log sheet even we can star mark the log sheet we have two major features here where we have to share the logbook to end users and we can configure email receipts from email settings after creating any logbook we have to share it to end user with some privileges so i have two operators which can enter data and can edit template i will give this two particular privileges to the operators and i will share it then i have process engineers and operation engineers who will approve the log sheets so i will add can approve privileges and i will share then we have hods or other unit uh, uh, officials whom who has to only view the data so they will be managers we can select this without giving any privileges we will share it this will only be accessible for view purpose then we can create then we have to enable this option send logbook as email on set complete include deviation report to get to complete email settings 
when we click on email settings we can give end user to whom the mail should go even we can assign groups after clicking this checkbox select to assign groups will be available you can mention to and cc both the things you can assign some subject you can give some message once this all is done refresh the page this logbook builder you can close logbook builder refresh the page and you will find a new logbook created in particular asset once i click on this asset the logbook which i have created training logbook this will be created now to access this logbook and see how log sheet is generated you can select on the shift you can select on preparation person then approving person and then hod now the log sheet is created double click on the log sheet and the page which you have configured will be available in this particular format we have added two info views first of all we have added one header then two info views after that we have added shift manpower widget then we have added simple widget then activity widget and then tank transfers from here you can sneak peek to all the widgets which are available in the logbook this is how we configure logbook and share to end users thank you